Hello guys, good afternoon everybody. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello Janine, good afternoon. Hello. Hello teacher. Hello. Ruth, good to see you. Jose, Denilson, Gabriela, Hello. Gustavo, Rita, good to see you guys. So hope you are having a great day. And uh, remember this is our last day right with this uh, module of beginner. So without further ado guys, let's go with the lesson. And uh, remember, we have a task, right? Tenemos una tarea, we have a task about an speaking activity. So remember that for this activity, you have to speak for one minute answering these questions. So we have to answer these questions and you have to last one minute. So is there somebody ready to present this information? Somebody volunteers, the first person, or do you want me to choose you? Volunteers, guys, hay algún voluntario? Or I can choose you. No volunteers? Okay, so um, I'm going to think of a number. Si usted adivina el número, usted va a ser el primero. Okay, vamos a escribir un número del 1 al 10. Right. Un número de una diez en el chat box y si usted lo adivina, you're going to be the first one. Okay, let's go. Okay, no se tiene que repetir, please. Okay, Janina says nine. ¿A dónde? En el chat box de Zoom, please. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, veamos los números. Let's see, numbers, okay. Hola, Chucky. Okay, we have six, three, no two, three, nine, five, and let's see. Okay, I have the number. Okay, todavía me hace falta. Let's okay. see. Some people, eh, eh, Nilsson, do you have the number? Eh, Nilsson? Lorena, do you have your number? Hello. Hello, Lorena. Ya tenemos el número, Lorena, de 1 al 10, right? Que no se repita el número. Ah. Um, ¿Un número? Oh. Yes. Vamos a escribirlo en el chat box. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Veamos, ya está Eden Nilsson. Thank you, Ruth. Y Vania, todavía sin falta números. Falta el 8, 7. Ok, Lorena says 7. Okay, todavía nos hace falta el number eight. Okay, so let's see the number that I have chosen. Okay, aquí está el número que elegí. So it's number five, right? Okay, veamos quién era el número cinco. It was Josué. Okay, Josué, you are going to start with the questions. Okay, tenemos un minuto, Josué, para uh, answering the questions, right? Okay, let's go, Josué. And you will have uh, one minute. Uh, hello, teacher. No. Hola. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, yo solo prácticamente hice dos. Okay, vamos a ver qué tal nos va. Como es el primero, está bien, since you are the first one, it's okay. Okay, let's go, Josue. Okay. Uh, number one, which extreme sport are popular in your country? And they say that extreme sports in my country are uh, surf, uh, cycling in the mountains, uh, canopy. Um, Y ahí dice, why do you think they are popular? Eh, because of how exciting um, age of, of this sport. Eh, number, number one, what activities, activities uh, you do a trail? Um, hiking 
in the mountains. Ok. Y sería mm -hmm. um, por el clima fresco, cold weather. Cool weather. Mm -hmm. cool weather. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto. Eh, Okay, okay, you did one minute. Eso hizo el minuto, Josué. So you see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was very good. Okay, now take it easy, right? <laughs> Relax. Okay, okay. Uh, Josué, can you choose another person, please? The next person. Podemos elegir la siguiente persona, please, oh. eh, Josué. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number o persona. A, a person, please. A, a person. Sería, okay. sería. Lorena. Lorena, ok, Lorena, are you ready? Vale que somos amigos. <laughs> Hello. Hello, are you ready, Lorena? Ok. Let's go. Um, why do you think they are popular? Uh, the extreme sport in my country is jumping. Uh, parachuting, no sé cómo se dice... Uh, Parachute. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And racing on the river. Um, we do you think they are popular because more and more people are longing for extreme emotion? Uh, those two. What activities have you a uh, trio? I like to walk in the El Espino Eco Park. Three. San that kind of adventure do you like? An adventure in a city on in natural. I like adventures in a place surround the poor natural. For, <laughs> lo siento. <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost, casi, casi, almost. Uh, you did it very good, very, very good, Lorena. Casi, casi, right? Almost. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Lorena. Can you choose the next person, please? Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo. Are you there, Gustavo? Está ahí, Gustavo? Um, I don't see him. Maybe he's connecting. Okay, he's trying to connect. Oh, there it is. Hello. Hello Gustavo. Okay. Let me know if you are ready, Gustavo. Okay. Well, one thing. I think maybe you have two devices, eh, Gustavo, porque se escucha un eco. Hola, hola. We have three devices. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe you can check Los that. Sí. Hola, hola. Sí, es que se escucha un eco. Probablemente tenga más de un device. Se me arruinaron los audífonos por eso. Ok. ¿Me escuchan? Se escucha eh, con interferencia, Gustavo. Quizás si podemos arreglar eso y luego le doy el espacio para que pueda presentar. Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, another person, please, Lorena. Me acaban de quebrar. Ellen Nilsson. Ellen Nilsson, okay. Ellen Nilsson, are you ready, Ellen Nilsson? Hi. Hello. Hola. Hola, hola. Yes, hello. Are you ready? Hay que hacer, Miss. Okay, the task, right? Las preguntas. Do you have the, the task? Okay. Eh, ¿La va a preguntar o...? o? No, oh. you, you have to answer. Tenemos que responderla si tiene que hacerlo en un minuto, right? In one minute. Ok. Ok, let me know if you are ready, Ellen Nilsson. If not. Eh, tengo que leer las preguntas y darle respuesta igual. Yes, the answer. Solo la respuesta. It's okay. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿estamos listos? Are you ready? Sí. Ok, let's go. Eh, the surf is popular sport. Because it's or beach are the best for the sport. Uh, I am excited to go. Uh, I like aventures in because it is more beautiful and the air is, is poorer. Looking for relax, rel, uh, relaxation. Uh, 
eh, volcanic erosion and tsunami. Okay, that's it, Ellen Nilsson, that's it. Se me fue Ellen Nilsson, where is he? No, he's not yeah. here. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Can you choose the next person, please? La siguiente, the next person, please, Ellen Nilsson. Eh... Samuel. Okay, Samuel, go ahead, Samuel, please. <laughs> Samuel is here. Is he? Oh, there it is. Samuel, are you ready? Your microphone, Samuel. Todavía no lo tengo terminado, teacher. Me falta una cosita. Okay, let's see another person. Okay, I'm going to choose now Alberto. Ready, Alberto? Gustavo, ahí sea. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, the surf is a popular uh, uh, stream sport in my country because it's uh, the uh, extranjeros extranjeros, uh, visit our country. Mm -hmm. um, what have you tried? La segunda story. Ah, quiero verla. Se me, se me, se me perdió aquí, teacher. Sorry. Okay. El teléfono se me quedó trabado. Bueno, si no, bueno, ya, ya pasó el tiempo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Alberto. Let's listen and now, Glenda. Are you ready, Glenda? Hello, Glenda. Are you ready? Hi, Hello? Miss. Hi. Hi. Are you Hi. ready, Glenda? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Go ahead, please. Each uh, string sport are popular in your country. Skydiving, mountaineering, and climbing. Who do you think they are popular in our country? There is a federation, and we compete with other with other countries. What activities give you a thrill? Stay running and climbing. What king of adventure do you like? An adventure and city in or in nature? Adventure in nature. What do you skip in a trip? Appreciation the landscapes. Why dangers are, are around you? The snake and crossing river because I can't swim. That's right. That's all, that's all. Okay, perfect, Linda. Thank you. Can you choose the next person, please? La siguiente persona, the next person, Linda, please. Um, Josué. Oh, oh, Josué, Josué is, uh, is already participating. He already presents. Yes. No other. Yanira. Okay, Yanira. Are you ready, Yanira? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, Yanira. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, go for it. Which strings for are popular in your country? In my country is practice canopy and jet ski. Uh, why do you think they are people popular? Because we have a lot of forest and beach. What activities give you a thrill? Swimming in the ocean and canopy. What king, what kind king of adventure do you like? An adventure in a city or in nature? Uh, I ride an adventure in nature, nature because I can say, save more money. What do you seek in a trip? I expect an excited experience and relax. What dangers are around? Traveling by bus, building, under construction, uh, or crime. 
No sé si me entendió, pero... Yes, yes, we did. Perfect. Very good, Janira. It was very well explained. Okay, Janira, can you choose the next person, please? Uh, Jorge. Jorge, are you ready, Jorge? Jorge Orantes. Jorge, okay, Jorge. Let me know if you are there, Jorge. Okay, teacher. In my country, the most popular string is for our climbing and canopy in La Puerta del Diablo, Plan de Rendero. Go liking in El Boquerón, surfing, parachute, y camping, and camping. I think they are popular because the season or the ideal wear. Also, the people will go to the beach or the mountain in a little time. The activities give me a thrill. Uh, climbing and canopy, surfing and rafting, and maybe water skiing. I like the climbing, go fishing, rafting, climb volcanoes, and go camping. I seek adventure, risks, thrill, and exciting. Uh, what dangers are around you? The bus transportation, the traffic, delinquency, uh, faulty roads and busy see the walls and pollution. And pollution, right, yes, okay. It was very good, and George. Can you please choose the next person? Uh, Ivania. Okay, Ivania. <laughs> go for it, Ivania. Let's go. Okay, yes. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Uh, the extreme sports are popular in our country are downhill. Uh, why? Because is ah uh, yeah. no me equivoqué okay, mis. Do you want to do it again? Lo hacemos otra vez. You want to do it again? Sí, por favor. Ok, ok. No problem. O puedo pasar después. Es que se me trabó aquí la... Ok, let's choose the next person, please, eh, Iván. Escojamos la siguiente persona. Uh, eh, de Nilsson. Ok, eh, de Nilsson. Let's go after eh, de Nilsson. Maybe you can present Iván now. Ok, let's go, de Nilsson. He didn't come. <laughs> He didn't appear right. <laughs> ok, teacher. One of the most popular sports in my country is surfing. We, we have one of the best beaches to practice, to practice it. Uh, and I'm excited to practice jumping into void. 10 years ago, I had a ride through El Salvador, Alaska in Sonsonate City. We have some dangerous places in our country. I prefer adventures in the mountains and I like swimming in the ocean. That's all. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you, Edelson. It was very well presented. Okay, Ivania, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. The extreme sports are popular in our country are surf because our country have the most beautiful beaches and good waves. Canopy, and I can't remember others. <laughs> and one activity that gives me a thrill is canopy because it's like flying. About the question, what kind of adventure do you like? I like national and international trips in the city or in the national but sincerely i really love the beach and the city what do you see in a trip i see in a trip now new new spots new people and different culture what dangers are around 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 you the waves in the beach chances of an Earthquake and the gang. Only. And the gang members, right? Yes, definitely. Yes. I share the same with you. The waves, yes, those things are very dangerous too. Okay, Ivania, can you please choose the next person? Mm, Carlos. 
Okay, Carlos, let's go, Carlos. Are you ready? Hello? Oh, there you are. Your microphone, Carlos. Hello. Okay. Which streaming are popular in the your country? I think the Montabai because this practice for uh, several age and other uh, sport, I think the sort because our beach have best waves and I have international competition and canopy. What activity you do a uh, green? I think the Dunghill, this is a um, competition and Eco Park, El in San Salvador. This, um, how, how do you say uh, modalidad in English? In a way, maybe. In a way, maybe the bike um, down, down is very uh, fast. It's very strange. Back in of Aventura, uh, do you like? In terms of how I like more than natural. But you see that in the street because I know the new culture. Uh, what danger around you? The freeways is the wildest. Um, Okay, that's it. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. The next person, please. It is missing. Lorena, Gabriela, I think. Guadalupe, Ruth is missing. I am ready, Tisha. Okay, okay. Let's let's listen, Gustavo, and then. Gustavo. Okay, and then okay. you can. Thank you, Gustavo. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, which extreme sport are popular in your country? The extreme uh, sport in my country is jumping and parachuting. <coughs> it is uh, an adventure of another level. We do you think they are popular because it's exciting and extreme. It is an outdoor adventure. What activities give you a thrill? The activities give, give me emotion are clean, surf and camping. What's kind? of adventure do you like? An adventure in a sea or in a nature? Uh, in a nature, breathe fresh air. What dangers are around you? There are mountains in volcanoes to climb. Finish. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gustavo. The next person, Gustavo, who is going to be? No sé quién hizo falta. Ok, I think it is missing Guadalupe, Ruth. Ah, Lupita. Ok, Lupita, please, go ahead, Lupita. Lista. Okay. I think I stream a sport in sur because it's popular in the country. In the country, I'm sure I have this wellness in the beach. Uh, what activity give you a thrill? Uh, I give me a thrill to work in the mountains. Um, I prefer the natural adventure. Uh, what do you do? What do you seek in a trip? Uh, adrenaline, fun, and enjoy the moment. What danger be around you? Uh, a danger could be meet a snake. Okay, that's, that's it, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Guadalupe. It was very, very good. Okay, Guadalupe, well, could you choose the next person, please? The siguiente persona, uh, please, Guadalupe. Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hola. Oh, Ruth. Okay, let's go. Yes. Me escucha? Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, which extreme sport are popular in your country? The extreme sport in my country is surfing. Why do you think they are popular? Uh, because it is the sport that tours visit and it is frequent. What activities give you a thrill? I love the beach. 
the forest uh, visit them very frequently. What kind of adventure do you like? An adventure in a city or in nature? Uh, I would like an adventure in nature, for example, the Green Hill. What do you seek in the uh, a trips? On a trip, it looks for rest and food. Uh, what do dangers are around you? The danger, the. Ah, no, me equivoqué. <laughs> Solamente. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So, and uh, now uh, somebody is missing. Let me know who is missing. Okay, Alberto is me. missing. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, Gabriela. Let's listen first, Gabriela, and then Alberto. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first question is which stream sport are popular in your country? And what do you think they are popular? Uh, some exports uh, popular in my country are biking, cycling in the mountain. Also surfing, paintball, rapping in waterfall. Uh, for example, in El Tanque, Sonsonate. In, in Puerta del Diablo, Planes de Rendero. Canopy is common practice for the tourists in Apaneca, Huachapán. And I think that our there I think that our export are very popular because there are many places for practice and it's very common that people practice too. And the second question, what activities give you a thrill? Um, I I think that kayak in mangrove from the Bahia de Jiquilisco, Sultan. Uh, this place, I think that is dangerous and exciting because can find a snake, iguanas, and cocodriles. Um, it's a day finally an experience for the ophidiophobic people. In my case, I never will practice this sport. Okay. And the third, uh, what kind of adventure do you like? An adventure in a city or in a nature? Um, I don't like um, the adventure. I am a scared person and I prefer hiking or or do a few exercise or, or other activities <laughs> without danger or exciting, exciting adventure. And the fourth, what do you seek in a trip? I seek quiet and enjoy with my friends or family and also eat delicious food. <laughs> and I prefer uh, these activities. And the last one, um, what dangers around you? Um, I think that criminal in some areas, uh, dangerous drivers, um, animals, uh, for example, tarantula, serpents, caterpillar, moses, I don't like, and uh, to uh, earthquake and tsunami. Oh. Okay, perfect, perfect, Gabriela. It was very well, very, very excellent, your explanation. Okay, let's see, Alberto, please. It's your turn. I think you are the last one. Okay, let me know if you are ready, Alberto. Okay, teacher, I okay, want to revise my sandwich because it's more difficult for okay. me. Uh, but yeah. with example, which stream sport are popular in your country? Why do you think they're uh, popular? In my country, uh, ha, uh, had, uh, has uh, a stream sport dif uh, difficult, uh, uh, a stream sport is surf because it's more uh, enjoy. Uh, is more enjoy with my friends. Example, uh, what activities give you a thrill? 
um, activities give me a thrill is is is, um, is walk in the mountain with my friends. Uh, what king adventures do you like? And adventures in sea on in city or in natural? Uh, I like prefer I like to prefer adventures in in, in natural because it's more beautiful. Uh, what do you seek in a trail? I seek in the trip in the trip more uh, more risky. Uh, what danger are around you? In the moment, uh, are in danger with me as they are around with me, but in the city, uh, example cars and cars in the traffic is the dangerous burden. I finish. That's it. Okay, perfect, Alberto. Thank you. I don't know if somebody is missing. Alguien más que nos haga falta? Yes or no? Yo. Oh, Samuel, go for it, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Uy, espérame. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dice, we can, eh, me escuchan. Yes. Sí. Okay. And this, with streaming sport are you purported in your country? Uh, the, mon the mountain big, busy is the purple sport. Dice, with do you dream they are purple and mountain to practice the sport? Uh, what activities give you dream, dream? I, I, am, I am still to go stream a place because it's like adrenaline. What king of adventure did you like? Uh, uh, an adventure is city on in nature. Uh, I like is the, is the beach on the to relax because it's the more beautiful and the water. What do you seek in the train? Um, seed string adventure. Uh, what danger are older you? Volcanic, volcanic eruption. Finish? Okay, you finish. Okay, thank you, Samuel. Very good job. Um, somebody else who is still. Hola, mi. Yes. Hello. So there is okay, Rita. Okay, Rita, are you ready? Okay, yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, and um, and the country, the most popular uh, sports is about source, canopy, and another um, sport is uh, rafting. It's not uh, very popular, but it's uh, in El Salvador is the practice. And uh, I've seen the very popular is um, canopy. Uh, for example, in the many places, uh, the Pueblos Vivos, the practice. And um, another uh, uh, activity is, for example, the thriller. In my case, uh, maybe um, sword. Source is very, very um, exciting, and the person that practice this is expert. And and adventures, I remember the adventure in my case, my own experience is about the travel and um, New York driving in the snow is very difficult because it's very different travel and driving and then or countries and this condition. Um, and the sixth a trip is uh, driving in the same place and uh, Hello? 
Oh no, Rita is gone. Se nos fue Rita. Hello, Rita. Oh, I think she she's gone, right? Okay. So let's give her some time for uh, she finishes the presentation. Is there somebody who is still missing, guys? Is there somebody? Hay alguien más que nos haga falta? No? Okay. So let's continue. Let's vamos a ver uh, some expressions, right? Podemos utilizar in order to improve our skills, right? When we are speaking. Okay, tengamos cuidado with the pronunciation of the verb walk, right? Walk. No pronunciamos el. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you ready to finish? Or did you finish? Hola, Rita. Yes, only the dangerous uh, around the about uh, me, um, mm -hmm. uh, traffic, and the um, I, I don't remember the, the pronunciation the, the pronunciation um, terremotos, earthquakes, uh -huh. earthquakes, oh, yeah. earthquakes. Okay. So, uh, guys, uh, yes, thank you so much. Muchas gracias por haber participado. Uh, this time is for you to practice and improve that part of speaking. Vamos a ver algunas palabras que necesitamos ver de pronunciation más que todo. Tenemos la palabra kind, right? Kind. No decimos king, porque si decimos king nos referimos a la palabra rey. Okay, entonces cuando decimos, por ejemplo, un tipo, ¿verdad? Estamos diciendo kind, kind. También es de la palabra adventures, right? Adventure, aventura, adventure. Eh, también tenemos la, la palabra nature, right? Naturaleza, nature, nature. También la palabra river, river, river. Eh, tenemos también la palabra, ah, una oración que escuché que, que alguien dijo one activity, one activity, sorry, one activity that give me. En este caso, como estamos hablando de una actividad, vamos a agregarle que se al verbo, one activity that gives me. Eh, for example, happiness is that one. También, our beach. Our beach has, right? Our beach has. Tengamos cuidado también con el verbo no. No, es el verbo saber, right? El verbo saber. Ser. Y tengamos la diferencia entre now. Now, la diferencia de pronunciation and writing. Tenemos no, now. Que esto significa ahora, right? O en este momento. Tengamos también en cuenta la palabra sports, sports, sports. A veces le agregamos la E acá y decimos e sports. No, solo es el sonido de la S, sports. Ok, another is, ah, oh, también escuché la palabra could, could. Siempre que tengamos estas palabras de could, would, should, no se pronuncia la L. La L nunca se va a pronunciar con estas palabras. Así que, take care with that. And after that, there is not too much problem. Felicitaciones. You did a very excellent job. No sé si tengamos dudas de alguna palabra en el word. Beside for that, what, guys, it was excellent. Congratulations. Okay. So, if there are no questions or any pronunciation word that you want me to say. So let's go with the lesson. Vamos a ver un poquito um, some rules about the, the ES, right? Recordemos que estamos repasando the simple present. And the structure of the simple present is el sujeto, verb, and el complement, right? So remember que siempre que tengamos he, she, it, siempre vamos a agregar S to the verb. Okay, so en el caso que sea will you they, no le agregamos nada. Okay, so hasta ahí estamos bastante bien with the topic. Ya vimos las afirmativas, negatives. Remember that when we are using negatives, 
con he, she, or it, vamos a utilizar el does not o el doesn't. Cuando tengamos we, you, y they, en I, vamos a utilizar el do not o el don't, más el exercise, el, el, exercise, el verbo, el verb, and the complement. Ok, no sé si hay dudas about that part. No sé si hay dudas, questions about the structure. Esto ya lo, este es un review también. No questions? Ok, entonces vamos a ver algunas reglas. Esta regla se, se aplica más que todo cuando tengamos he, she, or it al verbo en oraciones afirmativas. Por ejemplo, si tenemos un, la mayoría de los verbos, we are going to add the letter S. For example, drink, drinks, fry, fries, run, runs, and so on. Tenemos el otro caso que si termina un verbo con una vocal más, la Y, vamos a agregarle S. Nada más. Ahí se queda. Porque termina en una vowel, una vocal, más la Y, y vamos a agregar solo la letra S. En el caso, in cases, y eso sí, pongamos mucho cuidado porque vamos a encontrar a lot of verbs cuando terminan en CH, SH, SS, X, vamos a agregarle ES. Ok, tenemos el verbo teach, tenemos el verbo push, miss, and fix. Um, tenemos otros examples, por ejemplo, con el verbo do or go, le vamos a agregar ES. Cuando estemos hablando de he, she, and need. No sé si hay dudas con el literal A and B. Do you have questions? Or are we good? No questions? Ok. Perfect. Let's continue. Si tenemos, if we have a verb, si tenemos un verbo que termina en una consonante más la Y, vamos a cambiarle la Y por el I, E, S. I, E, S. Por ejemplo, este verbo termina en una consonante, right? R más la Y. Entonces, cambia. Cambiaría la Y por la I, E, S. Tenemos el mismo ejemplo. Study. Studies. Tenemos el siguiente, los verbos que son irregulares. Hay muchos verbos que son irregulares. Por ejemplo, el verbo to be, que ya conocemos que es am, is, are. Y luego tenemos el verbo tener, have or has. ¿Cuándo debemos utilizar have? Vamos a utilizarlo con los sujetos de I, you, we y they. A diferencia de que cuando estemos utilizando has, lo vamos a utilizar con he, she y me. ¿Ok? No podemos decir, por ejemplo, eh, Gustavo have a car. No podemos decir eso, right? We can say that. Gustavo have a car. No, we can say that. Debemos decir, Gustavo has a car. Ok, no sé si hay dudas with this part. ¿Hay alguna duda? Any question? No? Ok. ¿Qué pasa si la tenemos en negativa? ¿Qué pasa si la tenemos en what happens? Utilizando el verbo have. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo el sujeto we, vamos a utilizar siempre el do not right o el don't. We do not have money, digamos. Y sigamos con Gustavo. Digamos que Gustavo no tiene dinero. Gustavo, ¿qué debo de utilizar? Do not or doesn't. ¿Qué debo utilizar? What thing I use does, in that? Doesn't. Doesn't. Does not. Or does not. Y tengo que utilizar has. Is that okay if I use has? Does no, not. right. Sería doesn't have money. Ahí ya regresa el verbo a su forma normal. Pongamos atención a eso que a veces eh, cometemos el error de escribir has, right, con negativas. Utilizando he, she, or it. No sé si hay dudas o questions about this part. No questions. No. Okay. So let's practice then. 
Vamos a practicar entonces this part. And I want you to write, vamos a escribir en el chat box, three sentences. Vamos a escribir en el chat box, three sentences. Using el verbo, the verb have. Vamos a utilizar el verbo have. Vamos a hacer tres oraciones afirmativas and negatives, right? Okay. En la primera, quiero que escribamos una oración utilizando el sujeto María, Mary, and my sister. La vamos a hacer en negativa, utilizando the verb have. Ok, escribámosle en el chat box, please, that sentence. Mary and my sister. Vamos a utilizar el have, pero en la forma negativa. ¿Cómo nos puede quedar that sentence? Ok, let's see. Por ejemplo, Mary and my sister no tienen, right? No tienen mis llaves. No tienen mi carro, no tienen casa. So, ¿cómo nos puede quedar that sentence? Escribamos en el chat box and then we can see how you did it. Okay, let's see. I have one. Ah, ok, ok. Giovanni, vamos a revisar esa. Ah, ok. Gabriela, excellent. Very good, Gabriela. Ok, entonces voy a tomar la oración de Gabriela. And she wrote, for example, vamos a revisar esas oraciones. Let's check. Perfect. Eh, vamos a utilizar this one. Y tenemos, Mary and my sister do not write have children. ¿Por qué estamos utilizando do not? Why? ¿Por qué estamos utilizando do not? It's plural. It is plural. Tenemos Mary and my sister. Ok, hagamos another in negative. Hagamos otro utilizando my teacher. Ok, y la vamos a hacer negativa. ¿Cómo nos quedaría that sentence? My teacher, y la vamos a hacer negative. Veamos. Ok, muy bien, Alberto. Your sentence is correct. Una oración utilizando ahora my teacher and la forma negativa del verbo have. Ok, let's see if we have my teacher. Ok, very good, Alberto. Vamos a tomar, I'm going to take this sentence. Ok, y ahí tenemos the correct answer. Utilizando el doesn't, right? Nos estamos refiriendo ya sea a ella o a él. My teacher doesn't have. Ok, muy bien, Ivania, perfect. Ahora tomemos another example. Vamos a hacer another example using my... Y Carlos, digamos, Carlos. Hagamos una oración afirmativa, right? Affirmative sentence. Utilizando have con... El sujeto Carlos. Por ejemplo, Carlos tiene um, carro, right? Carlos tiene las llaves. Or, let's see. Affirmative. Ok. Carlos has a bike. Ok. Carlos has a bike. Muy bien, Ivania. Ok, vamos a tomar la oración de Ivania. That it is in affirm. Carlos has a bike. Muy bien. Tengamos cuidado porque a veces podemos escribir el doesn't y el has, right? So we have to take care. Okay, perfect, Carlos. So, questions, guys, about el have o el has. Questions? No questions? Okay, no. So, it means we are. Good with that topic. Ok, tenemos some time expressions. No sé si me puede ayudar, Edenilson, with the first part, with the time expressions. Using the simple present. ¿Me ayuda? Can you read this part, Edenilson? Use simple present to talk about things 
that regularly happen. Suck as habits and routines. Continue. Okinawas usually eat fruits and vegetables. We don't eat meat. He doesn't drive to work. Okay, thank you, Denison. So, as you can see, this is another way we can use the simple present. For ejemplo, to talk about things that regularly happen. Lo utilizamos para actividades que hacemos a diario, por ejemplo, habits, rutinas, and so on. Can you help me with the next one, Ivania, letter B? Okay. When you talk about things that regularly happen, use time expressions such as every day, every loose day, in the morning, afternoon, evening, at night, and at 6.30. Examples, please, Ivania. Oh, okay. They take long walk, walks every day. She takes long walks every Saturday. We take naps in the afternoon. I watch TV at night. Our, fam our, our family eats dinner at 6.30. Okay, there you have. We can use them also with time expressions, right? We also use them with time expressions, such as every day, todos los días, every Saturday, cada sábado, por ejemplo, tal como lo muestra acá, every más un día. También podemos, we can use it with in the afternoon, in the morning, etc. O para decir en la noche, at night. At night. No podemos decir in the night. No, we have to say at night. Y también podemos agregarle hora. At 6.30, at 9.30. Okay, let's continue with the next part. Samuel, can you, re can you help me? This example, please. Uh, hola, hola. Yes. Uh -huh. On Saturdays? On Saturday, I work in a restaurant. I take long work on weekend. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, I'm from, I work from um, club night or night club. No, uh, eight. Eight club. Mm -hmm. To uh, five club. Okay, very good, Samuel. Thank you. Tenemos también the expression on Saturdays. Los sábados, right? We can say on Saturday, on Monday, on Tuesday. Tenemos the next expression on weekends, en los fines de semana, on weekends. Tenemos también the time expression from, desde, hasta, to. Then we have another example. I work, but it is the same. Luego tenemos otras expressions, por ejemplo, I visit my grandparents in the summer, pensándolo with the, uh, with the season, right? En el verano, porque puede, we can use it at the end or at the beginning. In June, too. Okay, questions, guys, about this activity? About the, the information, no sé si hay dudas, questions? No? Okay, so there you have some time expressions, right? For you to practice and use it in your vocabulary. Okay, ya vimos, right? With the time expressions, at, nos indica la hora, alas, from, desde, hasta. Tenemos también in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. Tenemos también on, lo que vimos, right? On Tuesday, on Friday, etc. No sé si hay dudas, questions, no questions, okay. So let's work in this part and now you are going to be working. Les voy a dar uh, the time for you to complete this section. You have to use the verbs that are in parentheses and then you tell me the ends. Okay, los dejo trabajar entonces and then you share with me the answer. Unos two minutes, right? Two minutes for that. 
Let me know if you have questions. Here you have the rule. Aquí tenemos las rules para que las apliquemos. All right, take care with the subject. Okay, let's work. Hey guys, uh, tell me, do you have questions or do you need more time? ¿Cómo vamos? No questions? Okay, estamos bastante bien. Un minuto más and then we complete the activity. Okay, guys, let's try to do it together for the tiempo, right? We're going to complete this part. Okay, uh, let's see. Can you help me with the first part, Lorena? The first part, can you read it, please, Lorena? My parents. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents have... Um, a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad uh, goes. Mm -hmm. Tenemos my mom and dad, right? Tenemos dos sujetos. Which go. one is exactly? Sería go. Okay. Oh, very good, Lorena. Continue, please. My parents. My parents, but I let the time do. Ok, muy bien, right, porque tenemos I, sería entonces do. do. Ok, perfect Lorena, thank you. Let's see, can you help me with the next one, Jorge, number two? Number two. Mm -hmm. my, brother, my brother doesn't live with us. Mm -hmm. He has Very good. Mm -hmm. an apartment in the city. He he goes he goes, he goes to a school mm -hmm. all days and the and he does he does uh, his homework a try very good very good excellent Jorge tenemos como estamos hablando acerca de el right vamos a utilizar el goes vamos a utilizar el does does right 
That's very good, Jorge, thank you. Uh, can you help me with the next one? Let's see, Josue, that will be Josue, the last one. Hello. Mm -hmm. And I I have. Muy bien, I have. I have a new friend. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, we 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 go. Muy bien. Very good. Go. Oh. Uh, um. Totally same school. Mm -hmm. Um. Sometimes we uh, do. Yeah, that's right. Uh, our, our homework. Uh, uh, la última palabra, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Together. 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 Yeah. Okay, very good, Josué. Okay, guys, se me acabó el tiempo. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you so much for ending this module, right? I hope you can continue next week. And if there is nothing more to say, I will say goodbye, guys. Thank you. Muchas gracias a todos, right? Keep studying English. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Thank bye, you so bye. much, bye, guys. Bye, bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Bye. See you, guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Keep working.